Brunei Darussalam, a tiny country on the island of Borneo surrounded by Malaysia. It's a country that has always sparked my interest but is said to be very boring by the few travel bloggers who have visited. Today I'm flying there to find out the truth about Brunei. How is it really like as a Muslim traveler to go and visit this country? We just got to Brunei and today is actually Juma in Brunei so we're gonna start off our day by going to the Mejid and observing Juma in Brunei. So here we go. Welcome to Brunei. The first place I'm visiting in Brunei is the largest mosque in the country and it is named after Hassan al bolkiya the current Sultan of Brunei. I happen to be here on a Friday which is the holy day in Islam where everyone comes and prays at the mosque for Jum'ah prayer. Jum'ah Mubarak, Brunei has more than 80% population of Muslims. So there are a lot of beautiful measures that we're gonna see and this is the very first one. Let's go enter inside. Wa alaikum salam. What's your name? Uh, my name is Mu'az. Nice to meet you. Walid. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. And you're from Brunei? Oh, yes, yes, the local oh, Brunei. Masha yes. MashaAllah. And what's the name of this masjid? So, this is Jami'a Asri Hassan al Bukya in Kampung Kela. So, one of the main important mosques in Brunei Darussalam, actually. The, one of the biggest mosques. And this is the mosque where His Majesty himself he built it in his coronation. <laughs> if we look right, yeah. it's really beautiful and everything, right? That's because this is where a lot of the religious events would be held. So anything to do with His Majesty's birthday, anything to do religious should be here. Alhamdulillah man, this is an amazing, amazing masjid. Super beautiful to see this. And the prayer just got done, they're actually putting these carpets up. So they're opening it up for tourists to come and see. So after Juma. A lot of tourists come and try to see this mosque. And this is also another thing I need to point out. So look at this carpet right here. This is actually this measured. So every single spot has it. Saying goodbye to here for now. Wow, oh, man, look at this measured. This is so beautiful. And this is another dome right here. Got, here we got all the water fountains. Look at this water fountain. And look at the gates to enter the mosque. And here they actually have an escalator. An escalator at a mosque. This is unreal. This is. I wasn't expecting this. I think out of all the mosques I visited in my life, this might be the nicest one. Brunei. And and we just got here. We got a lot more to see. So let's go check out the country. Go explore. Go get some food. Brunei day one. Joma day. Here we go. So for today, we're mainly gonna be exploring the Gadong area, and gonna try a restaurant here check out the mall go check out the Gadong night markets so this is one of the main areas in Brunei you can see all the chain restaurants just right here and then this is the Gadong mall over here I'm glad they have Gongcha because this is my favorite bubble tea place in the world so actually fun fact all the stores close from 12 to 2 on Friday in Brunei for Jama. so literally every single thing in Jama is closed 12 to 2 I actually never get this winter melon tea it's really good so I'm gonna walk around for now with my winter melon tea and try to find a good place to eat at I like how they have a lot of stuff in Arabic in Brunei it's cool to see first spot we're gonna try out here Tien Tien so it's a very famous chicken rice spot um, I was about to enter but they told me I need cash so I need to go get some cash from somewhere when I got to the airport there was nowhere to exchange so we got to find an ATM I think a lot of places here take cash only so let me go get some cash and then walk back here. Brunei currency. Oh, so they have the Sultan on it. Whoa, this is really interesting currency. There's so many pictures of the Sultan on it. One, two, three, four, five. Brunei Dar es Salaam. I would collect this, but this is $50. <laughs> it's too much. I'm going to see how the smaller bills are after we eat. After we eat. So here we go. It's a really small menu. It's only like six different items and then they got all these drinks. So we're gonna get nasi ayam. That's the original chicken rice. I'm gonna get a miso soup and then lemon tea ping. But yeah, that's their, that's their only menu, traditional. They just keep it on the wall. It's really cool to see. So I'm really excited to eat. They say it's one of the most popular spots for traditional chicken rice. Thank you. It's nasi ayam. Nasi ayam. Like, chicken rice. Thank you. Look how they keep all the utensils in warm water. 
That's so interesting. All right, Bismillah, look at this. So we got the Nasi Ayam right here. It's around $3.50, Brunei dollars, $2.50 US. We got the Soto Mi. So this is around $1.50 US. And then we got our Lemon Tea Ping, which is around like 70 cents US. So this whole meal in total, $5.50 to $6. Great value. It's actually like really flavorful and tasty. Chicken rice. It's not my favorite lemon tea I've had. I feel like it. I like I like sweet to be honest. Honestly, this looks promising. Me soup. I have a feeling this is gonna be my favorite of what we ordered. We got some shrimp in there, some tofu. There we go. That's solid. This is one of those like comfort meals. If you're just feeling like you want like a homey meal, this is one of those spots you come to. It's a good place for a meal. So we're gonna go check out the mall next and then we're actually gonna go to a night market. I'm really excited for the night market. See how a Brunei night market is. We just got the change back. We got some more Brunei dollars. So here's a $1, here's a 10. And it doesn't look like the Sultan is on it as much for these. But that's beautiful. That's a mosque that we were just at. And it's also right here. That's cool. Now here's the Sultan. You see the back of the 10. Wow, we're gonna go to this measured later. And we're gonna go check out the mall. It's like a 30 second walk away. Let's go. Next stop, we're going to the mall. So let's go explore the mall. Oh, it's a nice little coffee shop. Wow, they have a gong cha here too. There's one just right outside. And then over there they have a movie theater. It's a pretty nice mall, the biggest mall in Brunei. I still don't know why everything is in Arabic out here. I don't see that in Malaysia, Indonesia, none of these countries around here. It's actually way bigger than I was expecting. Like look at this. This mall is pretty interesting because it's like an old school mall, but then they have some very modern restaurants. So here's like a dessert spot. They have a Huge food court here. Whoa, there's a lot to try. They got some solid looking spots. They got a Japanese restaurant, weekend cafe. Hello, hello. A shout out the food court at the mall. Got the Brunei halal. I might need to come eat out here. That looks really good. 14? 14.90. Oh, not bad. Yeah. Looks very good. Yes. Maybe later I come try it. <laughs> I green milk tea. Oh, it's warm. It's actually like really warm on the bottom. Let's go find the table. Oh, whoa. That's only my second time ever trying Thai green tea. But like every place here has it. I don't know why every single place has it. Had to get something out here in the food court. Now we're gonna go ahead to the night market and there's also like a mosque next to the night market. So let's go check that out. Around a five to 10 minute walk from here. Kadong Loki has a lot of stuff, a good place to base yourself, especially if you're just doing a short trip to Brunei, which a lot of people do. All right, so night one Brunei. Let's go check out the night market. But first up, we're gonna go to the mosque and pray. So that's amazing. They literally have a mosque just for the night market. You know where we'll do it? We'll do it all right here. Nice. Got we'll do it right here. I did not see this at all. This mosque is literally for the night market. That is amazing. Here's the night market and they built a mosque right here just for the market. I've never seen that somewhere. Okay, let's make we'll do it real quick. These are my guys. Uh, Where y'all from? Yeah. Brunei? Hi, yes, yes I'm oh. from Brunei. Hi guys. Nice to meet you. Yes. I told them I'm from Palestine. First thing they say, free oh, Palestine. What, what's your name? Uh, <laughs> Islam, I like. uh, what's your name? YouTube channel. YouTube, YouTube, YouTube channel. I put it in. Walid. My name Walid. Walid. Oh, my name is uh, Hazik. Hazik. Yeah, this is uh, Daniel. This is uh, Daniel. Sazmi. Sazmi, this is Hafiz. Hafiz. Yes. Hafiz. Nice to meet y'all. Best spot over oh, there. Uh, Soto. Soto Bakso. Soto Bakso. Yes. Nasi Ayam. Nasi ayam. You like nasi ayam? Yes, yeah. I like nasi ayam. Okay. What you like? I like nasi ayam. Nasi ayam. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna pray first and then go. Okay. What language do you speak? 
Malay. Malay. Yes, this country. Like, is. why is everything in Arabic? Oh, I don't this is know. a Muslim country. Yeah, it's Muslim country, but yes. yeah. Malaysia, Indonesia, no Arabic. <laughs> oh, just Brunei. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, it's so yeah. much Arabic. It's cool. Yes. We're gonna go check out the masjid. Man, everyone I've been meeting is so respectful. They shake my hand and like kiss my um, hand. It's crazy. I'm, I don't see that that much. All right, here is the inside of the masjid. So, goes over here. It's also a woman's section, it looks like. Let's go inside Kadong Night Market. All right, when you enter, they got Quran playing. Wow, already got some amazing looking food. It's like some chicken sticks, hello. There's actually way more stands than I was expecting. There's like at least 50 different stands. So we're gonna go to ones that look good, have a long line. So let's try them out. The night market, Gadong, out here in Brunei. Look at this. Got these crepes. That looks insane. I don't know what these are, but it looks really good. It's like a chocolate crepe. We're gonna get one of these for dessert, for sure. We got the smash burgers. Hello. They call this Papa John out here. It's like an omelet sandwich. Whoa. Never seen this before. <laughs> Just in Brunei? Where else? Singapore, Malaysia too. Oh. What's in it? You have egg, and chicken. And then you put some sauces on it? Yes, because it's mayonnaise. Mayonnaise, tomato sauce, oh, so chili. chili. Yes. Oh, and this is a Papa John. Yes, this is Papa John. That looks good. We're gonna get one Papa John. The ging, three dollars. Not bad at all. It's like two dollars US. What is Mama John? Mama John is different size. This one, Papa John, but Mama John is half. Mama John is half. Yeah. Oh, so. Papa big one, mama small one. Yes. <laughs> thank you. Okay, thank you. First thing we got a coconut drink. We got a Papa John. Let's try them both out. That's funny how they have Mama John <laughs> as the smaller one. It's like the same price almost too. Might as well just get the Papa John. Here it is. This is the Papa John. We got the coconut juice. So really great price for this food. I'm gonna eat like half of this and keep the rest to go because we're gonna get a lot more food. So let's try a Papa John. First time ever trying this. I've never even seen them in uh, Malaysia and Singapore and Indonesia. He said they're there. Go. Let's try the Papa wow. John. Wow. Very good. <laughs> Very good, yeah. You like Papa John? Me? Yeah. Palestinian. Oh, Palestinian. Oh, yeah. Yes. Mashallah. Oh, sorry, my hand dirty. My hand. Assalamu alaikum. Brunei, Malaysia. My, my Malaysia? Oh, you're Malaysian? Yep. I'm from Malaysia. And the Brunei. From Brunei. Yeah. Hmm. Take picture. <laughs> oh. So, Kaka Amit. Take a picture of me just a Palestinian man. Kaka Amit. That's beautiful. Kaka Amit, come on. <laughs> right, we got my new friends and we're trying out the Papa John. Let's try it out. Papa John, that's really good. That's a solid yeah, yeah. snack. Mm. This is one of those like, yeah, it's good. Solid so, snack. Brunei uh, cooking, uh, mm -hmm. very bad. Brunei yeah. cooking good. Good. Yeah. Good. Same the Muslim food. It's good here, oh, yeah, Muslim. yeah. No, yeah. So my man's from Malaysia is saying Brunei food is good. Makan, makan, makan. We're gonna try the makan. coconut juice now. Yeah. That's fresh. That's like um, straight up on an island with the coconut. <laughs> So it says this place closes at 11 on Google, but a lot of the vendors start closing at 9. So just a warning for people that want to come. They start to close a little earlier. Hello. Still open? Yeah, it's still open. Which one the most popular? Which one? We're going to get some Kuwaitiao Goreng now. It's 
these noodles right here, around two dollars. My man's gonna cook it up. I'm ready. Look at that work. Yo, there's too many options here, but the food scene in Brunei is looking kind of nice. I'm liking the food scene here. We're gonna get probably a dessert. I'm gonna come here every night I'm here, by the way, but this is the night we're making the vlog. Look at these drinks. All these drinks look so good. We gotta get tea tark out here. It's my favorite drink. Tarik. Tea Tark means pull tea, so they got Tea Tark in Brunei. Let's see her make the magic. Oh, look at that Tea Tark. Good job. One dollar? Yes. Okay. Oh, uh, sure, sure. It's been a great long day, day one Brunei. I'm actually enjoying it a lot. So, we're all, we've only been around the Gadong area. Imagine there's a lot more to see. What's the name of it called? Kui Malaya. We got half chocolate, half cheese. So this is one of the most famous desserts in all of Brunei. And they topping it off with some condensed cream, some butter. That looks so good. I'm really excited to end the meal with this. Kui Malaya. It looks so good. Thank you. Thank you, my man. All right, we got a lot of stuff. It's time to go try some of these out. All right, mission over. We got the final meal. We got the noodles. We got the desserts, a cheese, a chocolate, and we got the best drink in the world, Tea Tarik. Here we go. Let's try this all out. This Tea Tarik is warm. I'm really excited for this. That's banging. I made a really good choice in getting Tea Tarik. 9.9 .9 out of 10. I don't know why it's not a 10 out of 10. Nothing's a 10 out of 10. So 9.9 out of 10. Everything's good. We gotta try these out though. Get that, that chocolate goodness. I'm about to get so fat. Okay, this might be a 10 out of 10. <laughs> I'm coming back to this night market. Every night I'm in Brunei. Alhamdulillah, day one Brunei today was amazing so far. I'm so excited for the rest of the days. Especially the food scene, so good. The mosques, so beautiful. People all have been so nice. So I'm really excited to be here some more days. And it's been a country I haven't really seen many people go to. I told someone I was going to Brunei, they were like, where's that? So I'm excited to be here and show Brunei. It's dope, man, I'm liking it. So good night from night one. We got more Brunei videos coming. See y'all later, peace.